Hey, good morning. This is John. I look a bit disheveled. This is a raw and uncut video because it's early morning on Saturday, March 30th, around 7 or so. The sun is shining. Um, I've been up since around 4.30, 4.45, which is normally when I start my morning routine. Um, just a quick pan of the yard. You see at the top of the hill there, there's actually a horse farm. Across the street, we have a farm. So you got the benefit of a bunch of uh, animals, birds chirping. Got an owl yelling. Sometimes the occasional rooster would, would go crazy, but that's more around sun, sunrise. But um, I wanted to film a video because I read something in the book I'm reading, which I wanted to share with you to see if it helps. And it's the book is called The Power of Your Attitude by Stan Toller. And what I read in the book is something I choose to practice in my day-to-day -day life, and I believe it will be helpful for you and your well-being also. And it has to do with knowing and practicing the difference between being happy and being joyful. They sound the same, people think they're the same, but they're really not, and let me explain why. What does it take for you to be happy? That question's gonna be different no matter who you ask. You're gonna think, but if you ask that question, you'll hear things like, well, I'm happy if I get a new job. I'd be happy when my boss gives me a raise, um, when I get into a new relationship, if I found money on the street, if I bought a home, if I bought a new pet, all these things are great, right? But the problem with that is the trigger point for you to be happy is external. It's up to somebody else and it's not in your control or it's only dependent on a specific event. The difference between that and being joyful, joyful is a state of mind. It's a well-being. It's a choice. Believe it or not, you can choose every day to be joyful to be joyful. And I'm sure if you think hard enough, there are things that you can find yourself being joyful about. We all have problems, we all have stress, I get it. But what am I joyful for? Well, every morning when I wake up, I spend about 10 minutes writing and thinking about all the things that I'm very joyful for. Things like my health, my heart beating in effortlessly in my chest, the fact that I thankfully have no kinds of handicap, I have a healthy family, healthy parents, healthy siblings, and the list can go on and on, but they're small things, but they make you feel good inside when you think about them. And when you do that, you're in control and you can experience that kind of joy and gratitude all day long. So my challenge to you is, are you the kind of person who sits in your head and says things like, I'd be happy if, I'd only be happy when, I can't be happy until, or are you the kind of person that looks for the good in everything and finds things to be grateful for and says that over and over in your head. Because if you're the latter, I really believe you'll find that your quality of life will be better and will continue to improve because you're not surrounding your thoughts and your mindset with negative things or things that have happened to you or things that people have done to you. So I really encourage you and challenge you to think about this more and to take this to heart because I truly believe if you do so, you'll find a better quality of life and overall good well-being. Thank you guys for your attention and I wish you a great day and good weekend and until next time. Thanks.